They work in the dark, truffle hunters, or trifolao, as they're called in the Piedmont dialect. They are shy creatures, always on the move, with only their dog at their side. The search for this valuable fungus has something mystical about it, even today. When you find a truffle, it's an overpowering feeling. You break the earth with your own hands, and this incredibly intense smell wafts up that's really overwhelming. It doesn't matter what size or shape the truffle is. Mino's companion is Luna, a cocker spaniel. The two are inseparable. Northwest Italy's Piedmont region is renowned for its history, culture, excellent wines, and of course, its truffles. It's a veritable land of plenty. But in winter, things take a nasty turn here in the idyllic woodlands around Alba. That's when the white truffle season comes. Mino is still on the go, even in the early hours of the morning, when the woods are still shrouded in fog. He's angry about the so-called truffle wars. It's gotten so bad that dogs are being poisoned. Eight dogs were poisoned within the space of three weeks in this region alone. That's incredibly painful for us. We've reached a point that was unthinkable for us until recently. It's no longer war. This is personal vindictiveness. But who's the target? Alba's forestry police are trying to find out who's responsible. They patrol the region, keeping a lookout for unlicensed hunters. But it's not easy to cover so many square kilometers with just five men. This is the kind of area with lots of truffle hunters. Dense woodland. The truffle hunters are very secretive. They often try to elude our patrols. This car, for example, definitely belongs to a truffle hunter. What else could he be doing here? We'll have to proceed on foot. Deeper in the forest, they meet two trifolao on their way home. They say they haven't found very much. Their papers are in order. They've paid their license fees. They, too, talk about a truffle war. I put on his muzzle just in case. It would be dreadful if anything happened to my dog. I don't care whether they've paid the license tax, but if they dig out the truffles when they are still green, that's a real competition. This has been going on for years. The forestry police are even more concerned about this practice than about the cases of poisoning. Some hunters are unearthing the truffles before they're ripe, destroying the fungus and its host plant. The ecosystems that produce white truffles are very sensitive. This is the damage they've left behind, this hole here and several more back there. The entire area has been destroyed by these diggers. It's all about money, a lot of money. White truffles are worth their weight in gold. Especially fine specimens can even cost two or three times as much. Some people will go to extremes to get their hands on them. Poisoned bait, ground glass mixed into minced meat, and even strychnine scattered in the woods. And it's not just dogs who suffer. Here's a sheep. It probably ate some of the poisoned bait they scattered in the woods. And it came here to die. Nino says the economic crisis in Italy is one reason why more people are turning to truffle hunting. But more and more hunting grounds are being privately leased and are no longer open to freelance truffolao like him. In the past, 10 percent of truffle areas were private. Today, half of them are. You can pay your license, but now you don't know where to go. But Mino is going to carry on. He learned the trade from his grandfather and can't imagine life without it. And his son is following in his footsteps. Why is hunting truffles a passion?
You have to know where to look and when. Every plant has its own time. It's not like all of them suddenly grow all at once. So how do you acquire this knowledge? Through experience. But if you suddenly decide at the age of 50 that you want to hunt truffles and make lots of money, you scatter poison so people don't go there, then you've got it all wrong. Then you're just an imbecile. Mino and some of his colleagues are planning to offer courses on truffle hunting and the ethics of truffle hunting. Maybe that will help. <laughs> 